If you've ever bought a digital film off of iTunes, you'll notice that you get a vast amount of information within the film. So when you copy this movie over to your iPad or watch it on Apple TV, you can get access to all this information about the film. Now if you were to order a digital copy, which is one of the most popular choices of output here at Alive Studios, where you get a Blu-ray, a DVD and a digital copy on a DVD disc, You'll notice that the file, this is one I've copied off of the digital disc, you'll notice that we've just got a title, the running time, but none of the information's there. And I'm going to show you how to put that information in. The software to do it on, on a Mac is called Subler. The software to do it on, on a PC is called MetaX. And I've put the uh, information for both and links on this page below the video. I'm going to use Subler on the Mac today. So you just drag and drop your file, click add, and if I click on the video it shows me the parameters for the video and the parameters for the audio. If I click off you've got the artwork so you can just drop a image in there. The category that you want it to be in, so home videos or or in movies, uh, there's also this is for m mostly for music, uh, but if I go to the metadata, I can add data in here. So we've got comments, genres, release dates, description. You can have a bit of fun and put rating in there, and then you can choose the rating. So I can just put 12, the genre. You click on the description, and you can just simply start typing your description in here. Uh, now I've pre-done one. I'll just add this in and this is one that I pre-did earlier. So you can see all the information in here. Now if I copy this one over to iTunes you'll see it makes a new genre and when I click on it look at the difference. There's so much more information in here. So if I look at the one previous before I've put the information in, there's nothing there. And the one that I've done in Subler, all this information, and I can add to it. I can just double click and start typing more in. So if I've made a mistake on a date, I can change that date. If I've made if I want to add another part of the cast, I can do that. And this can be updated in years to come. The only thing I would say when you I've changed the data. When you do a save, make sure you do a save as and then rename it to a different file. So you'd call that number three and hit save. Don't save over the top of your film just out of safety. So that's Subler on the Mac. And as I said, if you want a Windows version, there's this Meta X and the links are below. Thanks for watching.